And now, a new weapon in the war on terror. The bombings in Brussels back in March became yet another game changer for authorities trying to foil future terrorist attacks. And in a growing number of U.S. cities, police dogs are being trained to detect chemicals used by terrorists. Come on, buddy. Four-year-old Nellie is a key player in the LAPD's fight against terrorism. She seeks out suspicious packages, but she's also been trained to track chemical vapors that suicide bombers emit as they move through crowds and stop them before an attack. Good girl, come on. Officer Tom DeLucia is Nellie's handler. They practice daily in crowded venues like train stations, shopping malls, and airports. Nellie also works at LA's high-profile events like the Grammys and Oscars. DeLucia won't say how many odors she can detect, but hinted that an explosive like TATP used in the Brussels bombing may be one of them. It's safe to say that if it's being used out there operationally by a terrorist organization, that we are training for that operationally here at LAPD. A dog's sense of smell is tens of thousands of times stronger than a human's. Good girl. Watch as Nellie picks up a suspicious scent on a police decoy. She becomes animated, her tail wags, and she goes into tracking mode. We want to harden the target here in Los Angeles. Well, they're very valuable um, in terms of them being effective. When Delusia first started working as a canine handler a dozen years ago, suicide bomber dogs weren't part of the unit. But as terrorists have evolved, so too have police, using man's best friend to help on the front lines. Nellie, good job, buddy. Good job. Okay. And the LAPD says that only 10% of traditional bomb sniffing dogs have the additional skill set of detecting vapors on moving targets like suicide bombers. It takes years of specialized training.